Hey guys! What's up guys? Today we are just going to take you along day in the life. It is a Saturday and we are trying to get a little bit ahead on some videos and we have it's kind of just like a busy day for us and I say busy as in like we're leaving the house more than we normally do. Uh, I think we're busy most days but we're actually leaving the house today. Yeah. Definitely. So we're gonna get some projects done, we're gonna do some work stuff and we're also going to get on the road and do a couple things. So we'll bring you along. Come on. Today we are working on our back room, hanging some uh, clothes hanging things. <laughs> So we had to test them just right after Austin got done with these, we had to test them. So I did a laundry of Briar's stuff, my nephew, and we hung them up. So I don't know if Austin already told you, but eventually we'll paint all the walls white and we'll paint those white as well. We just wanted to see if we would like this first. So there they are. And then this one over here, we actually hung a while back. So as you can tell, it's not like centered, but none of this is ideal because these should be here <laughs> and they're not. And so since those cabinets need to open, that's where the studs were. And so it works for us. I know like aesthetically, it's not going to be ideal for everybody, but it works for us. Kingham, do you like it? That gingham lays right there all the time. I feel like I need to put a bed for him there. Because I'm all the time finding him back here. I'm not sure why. But, but what do you like so much about this room? Hmm? Is it like a cave? Oh, is it dark? Ooh, like a dark room. I'm headed to my grandparents. Got my gifts. Oh, no. I'm already spilling my coffee. God dang. Come on, folks. Headed to lunch. My grandma is uh, making dinner for Mother's Day. Mother's Day is tomorrow, but um, she's making dinner today. And Kayla made some uh, hand scrubs out of some essential oils uh, for gifts for all the moms. And uh, that's where I'm headed. Gonna head over that away. Already spilled my coffee all over my hand here. But uh, it's a good day so far. getting a lot of rain around here. It just rained again last night. And this is not supposed to have water here. Whoops. But this river that we're coming up on is really high and it's, uh, you know, flooding on either sides of the river. So that is the Cimarron River. We've had several flood warnings, like river flood warnings, you know, and uh, I don't, it, it, it's definitely flooded, you know, some areas like that, but it, it hasn't got too bad as far as I know. So that's good news, and I think last night was, was it for for the rain for a few days anyway, so that's, that's real good news. Finally got my truck back, as you see, I feel like I forgot I had my truck, they've had it for like two or three weeks now. And uh, so it feels good to have it back. Everything's good. The front axle seal's fixed. They called and said my front, uh, one of my rotors had a crack in it. So they went ahead and replaced both rotors and then a U-joint on one side. So that's all good news. And of course the tail lights, my trailer tow tail lights, they fixed those. I have not tried it yet. They should work because they stripped, they had to, you know, like I said in a previous video, they had to track down where the brake was in the in the wires and they found there was a few broke. There was those wires for the trailer tow, but also something to do with my fuel, which explains my toggle switch situation. So bye-bye toggle switch for good. No more jankiness. I don't mind being janky. You know, I'm all about improvising, but it's nice to be put back together again. I wanted to wish all the mothers that are watching a 
everybody. Happy Mother's Day. Today, actual day, it's Saturday. It's not Mother's Day, but tomorrow's Mother's Day. By the time this video goes up, it'll be late. So happy late Mother's Day to all you mothers. Thank you for everything that you do. Was, was good at my grandparents. Everybody loved the hand wash stuff that Kayla made. Hand wash, is that right? Yeah, hand wash. We're back at the house now. Now we're fixing to go to uh, Morrison, Oklahoma to a little general store that Kayla seen last weekend and uh, check it out. <laughs> I need a ride. Full of coffee. Oh, breath of refill. Yeah, you never know. Never know. People get in a bad mood when they run out of coffee. People. Yeah, people. Some people. People like me. <laughs> Not really. I've been doing better. I try not to drink as much. All right. Well, the hand washes were a hit. Everybody liked them. They said thank you. Good deal. Kayla took some pictures. Now we're headed to Morrison to the general store because we've seen it last weekend and Kayla really wants to go inside of it, so that's where we're headed to go check it out. in there, but if it's the general store of my dreams, it'll be worth a try. Yeah. <laughs> a general store is similar to what we want to do, and so um, I follow a lot of them on Instagram. Obviously, I've looked at a lot of old photos. Of general stores um, I've researched and dreamed of what products and makers and all those fun things we would have in our own store but I would love to see one in person if I could in fact I was thinking I should like look up and see if there's any other ones in Oklahoma and since we've been wanting to do some road trips we oh could yeah go, like road trip and see what other people are doing and yeah, uh, absolutely yeah check so. them out that's a good idea Sure. It's a real good idea. good idea. I love that sweater you got on. I need to get me one of those. Yeah, uh, thumbs up this video or leave a comment down below if you would like these X, this X on stuff. Um, this is on a sweatshirt, obviously. Um, and we're thinking about doing it on like lots of other stuff. I've got samples for kids' clothes with it and some long sleeves so that I do them in the winter to do them in the winter. So I guess I could do them later this summer if you guys were interested. So I'm pumped about them. I want to get one. I like them. I think they're clean looking, just like the wintertime hats. I really like it. Yeah, that's like my jam. I like like simple stuff. Shoot you. Yeah, I wear this all the time. I now have baby food on it. Nice. Because I fed <laughs> fryer. Yeah. Bananas, strawberries. We're super excited to share with you guys. That will be up before or after this video. We'll link it below. It's about our camping camping experience and like story time of our first camper. But we just made it to McClure's General Store, LLC, in Morrison, Oklahoma. Here it is. So we're going to roll in here. 
There's also a flower shop. I don't know if that's open. And then the other shop is owned by some people that we know and called Varnish, Varnish and Velvet, Velvet and Varnish, Varnish and Velvet, I believe. So we will go into as many shops as we can. This place is closed. This is the people that we know. They just moved to this location. Turn to your left. Look how cute this downtown is. Oh. How cute. Look how cute. Come down here. Yes, this is a very cute town. Yeah. There's trains that still come through here. We were here not that long ago and there was a train. There's a cute little barber shop thing. Oh, yeah. It just looks really cute. Like if you come over here and look back. Ooh. Got a really good, cute little vibe. See down the street and those buildings, those are the ones we were just talking about. Yeah. Super cute. Absolutely. My favorite. I love it. Reminds me of Andy Griffith. What? Reminds me of An the Andy <laughs> Griffith show. I don't watch that show. Mayberry. Oh. Except for, sometimes I feel like Mayberry's bigger than what uh, it seems. We could do a haul of what we picked up in the general store. First of all, classic. Then what? I saw this seasoning whenever we first walk in. It's Trader Dave's Gourmet Treats. I got fiery lime because, I don't know, summer lime. Yummy. This is made in Oklahoma. Out of Ponca City. Happy New Jam. Is that the same brand? Yeah, it is. Same brand as what? The, this. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, Trader Dave's Gourmet Treats. Yep. Good times. Wrong side. Same aunt that we talked about in that story time um, always puts this over cream cheese. And it's very good. Mm -hmm. Dip some wheat thins or some other things. Any, oh, like she uses um, Triscuits. Triscuits. No, I don't really like Triscuits. Wheat Thins are my thing, but... Or one time she had those flip side pretzel thingamajigs. Yum. Yum. All right, next. Aunt B's Country Fresh Honey. USA Grade A Honey. Made in Oklahoma. Uh, distributed out of Sepulpa. Honey is always good to have around. Local honey is even better to have around. Yeah. How you know what's funny about that? What? Aunt B's. Aunt B is Andy Griffith's aunt. Aunt B's. I know. B's. Honey's. Honey B's. I know. But oh. do you get it? I was talking about Andy Griffith. Yeah. Aunt B's. Mm -hmm. I hear you. <laughs> it's like we're driving around in Mayberry, but we're not. Yeah, this is a cute container too. Alright. The reason I got this stuff was to support the general store and to support Made in Oklahoma products. Um, because, I mean, that's just awesome. This is Salt Creek Cattle Company Mild Salsa. And he said that this runs warm. We get the mild instead of the medium. Sometimes we can handle medium, but. Stroud, Oklahoma Salt Creek Cattle Company. Neat little store. Really cool. Very it neat. was, I feel like those places you go in, it's like, what we were talking about whenever we left there was, 
you either go into those places and they're full of like knickknacks and like um, original makers and artists and made in whatever state that you're in products or they're more of a like your staples and then a couple of made in whatever products and that's what this one was um, they didn't have any extra crazy things that you don't need there was tons of stuff in there that um, <clears throat> locals could pick up like all your staple food stuff um, there was even some freezer items there's some meats there like frozen meats from Ralph's which is also a made in Oklahoma uh, small business and yeah they had like bolts and stuff in the back so that's where you get that cool little general store feel you can get more than just you know food there which is really cool now we know what's in there yeah it's a win for the general store we met the guy the guy who owns it he was in there it seems like he's probably in there most of the time and then they have the building next door which is the flower shop his wife runs that i love an old train don't you? Don't you love a good train? Yeah. I do. Do you want to race it? There's a better view of it right here. this video and just wanted to say goodbye we got to get this done and up before the naders come it is the Monday before you're watching this and it's a big stormy day here in Oklahoma so we're trying to get all our computer work done all right we love you be grateful work hard and have fun we'll see y'all in our next video bye